time because it's something that we want to make sure that we're paying attention and writing down for this. So again, if you guys can look at this, we can see that there's kind of three transformations, correct? So we can say there's a reflection. There's a, um, we can see that it's either going to be a compression. This is a, these are a compression or a stretch. I'm just going to leave it open. And then there's a horizontal shift. Right? So I'm just kind of grouping them right now. Yes? There was two types of reflections, either reflecting on the x-axis or reflecting the y-axis. So if we look at this, um, you guys can see we have a reflection that's being multiplied on the inside, which is a reflection across the y-axis. Uh, we see that there's a value of 2, the absolute value of 2, which is larger than 1, so therefore it's a horizontal compression, all right? And then you see there's a horizontal shift, but, the, but there's an issue here, is we're actually going to want to rewrite this problem. And anytime, any function, anytime that you see something where you have a, um, where you have either reflection or a compression stretch, as well as a horizontal shift, we want to write it as you want to make sure you factor out that negative 2. Because that, again, what it says, if you guys remember that compression thing, there's both of them. y equals um, c or f of x times c of x, right? You're multiplying that number times all of, like, all of that x. So if there's a, a number that you're adding or subtracting to that x, that c has to multiply by both of them for it to be a compression or a stretching. So if you rewrite this, I'm not changing as far as the problem. We still have our reflection. It's still being multiplied by negative 2. We still have our compression, right? That's a 2. But what I want you guys to understand is those are being multiplied by x plus 2, not, not negative 4, because you're only multiplying by negative um, you're only multiplying them by an x in this equation. But when you factor out the negative 2, you're multiplying them by both, which is mathematically correct. So therefore, we can say reflect the y-axis, horizontal compression, factor of 2. And then you can say left 2 units. Right? Now, I know. Well, because you had to factor out a negative 2, right? Now, I know a lot of you might be saying, whoa, Mr. Well, prove it. Okay, well.